I've come to Times Square because if there's an epicenter to the nuclear explosion of dynamic text in America, this is probably it. There are three major dynamic text signs behind me. A generation ago, Simon and Garfunkel wrote about communication in a song called The Sound of Silence. It was about New York City. They wrote about the neon lights, the fl signs flashing out their warnings, writing on subway walls and tenement halls. Well, this is the 1988 update. The old neon signs, the ones that just flash, are looking pretty old. There are new ways to move text around. The street is lined with video parlors. Those are extraordinarily popular with all sorts of people, all hours of the day. And they're very compelling, and they're part of this new media. One of the most interesting signs that I saw in this region was that of a chorus line. They have a ticker tape running on the lower part of that sign. And I noticed that they didn't spell Pulitzer Prize right. There's a typo. They call it the Pulitzer Prize. This is an important development as far as I'm concerned in the dynamic text. It's indicating that it's reaching the point where displays of this type are taken very casually. It's reached the point where there can be typos, where ordinary mortals like anyone on the street can go up to the signs, displays, type their names into the video games, or put up the marquee for the chorus line. It reminds me of something that I heard here in the middle of the sound of silence, which is still very prevalent in Times Square. I was up the street a few blocks, and a little girl about two years old was in a stroller and came out from underneath a construction canopy and looked up at the signs and said, Mira las luces. 